Kate Middleton treated as equal by King, Charles's sweet gesture towards Princess proves their close bond. Kate Middleton's return to the public eye was a major relief for the entire nation. They rallied behind their beloved princess with love and blessings as she continued her battle with cancer. On June 15, during the Trooping of the Colour celebrations, the Princess of Wales arrived at Buckingham Palace with her children and husband. Welcome to Royal Pancakes. If you are new here, please don't forget to subscribe and click the notifications bell, so you don't miss any news about the British monarchy. Meanwhile, King Charles was observed with pride and happiness as he saw his brave daughter-in-law take charge. According to experts, he regarded Kate as on par with him, and his respect and thankfulness for his daughter-in-law are clear. King Charles, Queen Camilla, William, and Kate finally made their much-awaited balcony appearance at Buckingham Palace as they greeted the gathered crowd. They watched a flyby of military aircraft, which marked the official birthday ceremonies of the monarch. Alongside other royal members, they were accompanied by Kate and William's children, George, Louis, and Charlotte. Amid everyone's attention on the Princess of Wales, King Charles's obvious admiration for her did not escape notice. Speaking to the Mirror, body language expert Judy James claimed, Kate was treated by Charles as both a status equal and a cherished relation. Placed directly next to him in the lineup, it was Kate who was given the majority of the King's attention. Unfazed by the excitement, Catherine appeared calm and composed as she rode in a carriage down a legendary London avenue. Her expressions greeted the crowds gathered along the sidewalk with polite gestures and smiles. Accompanied by her children, she navigated the celebratory chaos with ease. Later, back at Buckingham Palace, the family continued their years-old tradition. Kate and the King was spotted standing side by side, both looking happy. There was a moment when Kate leaned towards the King, sharing a mumble that sparked laughter between them. Kate relaxed as the chats went on and by the end of the appearance her wide, fun, dimpled smile had returned. Charles also seemed grateful for the empathetic bond with Kate as by the singing of the anthem he was looking brought close to tears by the crowd's support for them both, the expert further claimed. Earlier, the princess herself released a statement detailing her health and ongoing chemotherapy sessions. She personally informed the king of her intention to attend the major royal event despite her health battles. Meanwhile, Prince William pledged to support his wife and take care of their children to ensure Kate's smooth return to royal duties. Meghan Markle launched two new products under her lifestyle brand, American Riviera Orchard, just hours before Kate Middleton's royal comeback at Trooping the Color. A close friend of Markle's unveiled a new raspberry-flavored jam from the Duchess of Sussex's brand and teased that she will also be selling dog biscuits. Soon after, the internet buzzed with claims that Meghan allegedly tried to steal the limelight from the Princess of Wales. However, an expert has now clarified that the business move timed seemingly coincidentally, was not made with any malice, and did not overshadow anything. Speaking to the Mirror, PR expert Lynn Karat said, I don't think Meghan sending a pot of her American Riviera Orchard jam, and some dog biscuits to the couple's close friend Nacho Figueras a day before the trooping of the color and Kate's first public appearance since undergoing cancer treatment was done with any malice. The cancer-stricken Princess of Wales made her much-awaited royal comeback on June 15 after staying out of the public eye since being diagnosed and undergoing preventative therapy. She was seeking privacy at her Royal Windsor home with her children and Prince William. Her return was definitely one of the most anticipated events for royal followers, so watching Meghan allegedly trying to overshadow Irk many, and she was slammed by netizens for this business move. Karat, however, believes that Meghan had no role to play in this. She added, she, Meghan, didn't have any control over when Nacho would post them, and it didn't overshadow anything. Nacho Figueras, a close friend of the Duke and a polo player who has been a familiar name in Harry's inner circle since 2007, 
took to his Instagram to share jam and new dog biscuits hours ahead of the Trooping the Color tradition, marking the monarch's birthday. Both products were perfectly presented in jars with a rustic touch.